Well, good morning. Oh gosh. Biggest waves you've ever seen. You'll remember Windward Passage. Good news is we read on the US Coast Guard site that he was rescued and reunited with his family, all ending well. So welcome back. Biggest problem we've got, now that we've finally got some YouTube numbers, is that absolutely nothing happened on this trip. environmental conditions appear somewhat conducive for this system to gradually acquire some subtropical or tropical characteristics during the latter part of this week. When we arrived here in sunny Bermuda, Anne had raging toothache. So one of the first things we did was head for the dentist. And of course, they couldn't see us until today. But we woke up this morning, two o'clock this morning, and of course it's blowing 30, 35 knots and it looks like this. About half an hour ago we got a squall come through like this one and behind the rain it was calm-ish. So we made a bolt for the shore and is on our way to the dentist. So we made it ashore. How about a lightning tour of Bermuda? And this is a view from the highest hill on the island overlooking St George's Harbour, Time Bandit, left of middle. Right, well that was Bermuda, off to Grenada, 1000 miles, hopefully not quite the same amount of excitement as the last time. Let's see how we get on. So that's the anchor up and we're heading out through the cut. That's goodbye to Bermuda. We've had a lovely week's holiday here. Highly recommend it actually. Lovely weather. I mean, look, I'm in a t-shirt and it's winter time. Now this is what it should be like. 400 miles down, 800 or so to go and rocking along just beautifully. Well, guess what? It's blowing 30 knots again. See if you want an easy passage, don't go, go with Time Bandit. But are we happy? Oh, are we happy? <laughs> Where's that P&O cruise? A while back, a ship came up from astern, called us up on the VHF and said, Time Bandit, you don't have any navigation lights. Turns out that our stern facing white light was kaput. So this was the make do and mend. You can tell by the wind driven streaks on the water that it was pretty blowy, but nice and fast. Okay, well this is a first for a long time. He's putting on sunscreen because we're off for Buddha and we're sailing in the Caribbean. He always puts on too much. It's going to go in his eyes and it's going to sting, but he hasn't got any hair to protect him. Antigua, the island with 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. And we're screaming along at eight or nine knots, ready to take in another week. Well, the forecast was it was going to be a bit salty today. Oh, there you go, lightning visit to Antigua. Time bandit style. Tick. Time to move on. In shades of that boat we uh, came across Genoa in tatters and there's our ensign in tatters testament to the power of the wind or maybe it was just an old flag Caribbean sailing you gotta love it that was 38 knots just was just went howling through and I was right on the verge of 
shaking out a reef. Glad I was Mr. Conservative this morning. This is the next squall coming. It's about the fourth in the last hour. Up to 38 knots since the force wind was about oblivious. No one can sleep through anything. Oblivious. You've been oblivious to all this. Absolutely. Force nine out there. Squall after squall. Well, just getting used to it, I suppose. Yeah, they have this thing down here in the Caribbean called the Christmas winds. That's not from Brussels sprouts, that's the breezes blowing in from Africa. It tends to be a bit fresh at this time of year. But I'd trade Brussels sprouts for this, I tell you. So I get wakened from a nice sleep and told I'm needed because he has to find his way along the boom. Look, he's clipped on. Our second reef gave up the ghost, parting like a gunshot. So there was a bit of dancing around on the coach roof to get the new one rigged. That's Martinique. What a sight for sore eyes. Gee, been a rough trip. Been a rough trip since we left Flame in Norfolk. What are we doing, Hardid? <laughs> Just very tired. Another early morning start in our dash for Christmas festivities up in Toronto. Sailing down the coast of Martinique. Well, good morning. It's a fabulous morning here in Martinique. We're going down the coast of Martinique. It's sailing, we're sailing in 15 knots, gusting 25. So his lordship is going to break his plastic teeth. 15 knots is full sail, 25 knots means two reefs. So rather than do that and slow down, I was just doing a bit of proper sailing. What are you doing? Making croissant. croissant. Look, she's made bananas. <laughs> <laughs> bananas out the oven. Brilliant. So that was it, Martinique in a day. And we're off again, out into the Blaney. Another early start. Did I mention we're hauling out on Monday? That's the rush, flying on Friday. About two thirds of the way down St Lucia, the iconic Pitons, named after the beer, I think. But uh, all very nice, albeit not much wind. Uh, the race is on. I wonder where these guys are going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, oh, forget it. And maybe that's a better view of the pitons. Decent breeze now, so should be getting in before dark. Cinnamon rolls, a la Time Bandit. You press a spoon Ooh. and it pops open, and you have cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon Oh, it looks yummy. Two centimetres, two inches apart. Very good. There they go, and I put them in the oven. Oh, a, little, eh? a masterpiece. A masterpiece. We'll have no Preparation is the key. Preparation is the key. I'm good at that. There's icing in the bottom. <laughs> nearly put the icing in the bin. I nearly put the icing in the bin. And of course, no sooner are the pastry delights on the table than the next squall comes across the horizon. So leave the cakes. Get the reefs in, then get back to the cakes. Shaken yeah. coffee while the squall blows through. Five twenty five. 12 hour day, anchor down in Beckway, just before the rain comes on. We cleared into Grenada in the island of Karakou, headed off early the next morning because we had an appointment at the boatyard. We went down the east side of Grenada because that's where you get the wind. You can join the charter fleet and go down the 
west side and motor, but uh, we don't like doing that, so we had a good 7 to 11 knot sail down here and got to see that side of the island for the first time. Quite nice. Well, that's it. Over 1,200 miles from Bermuda. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to swap two hulls for two wheels for the next few months. So if you want a sailing channel, we're on hold until April. But if you'd like a motorcycle tour around South America, down to Patagonia and the end of the world, come join us. Thanks for watching.